thought you could hide in the past, Cassidy, but you are mistaken. I will not take your soul so soon, but I will overwhelm it and take control of your body. <laughs> Now was the time for you to choose, Thirteen. For you to choose what it is that you truly want. To decide at last what is your destiny and what it truly is. All I ask is but one small favor. As the image fades and you begin to speak, your voice cracks and you ask, What is the favor? The voice whispers to you as you fall into unconsciousness again. All you need to do is slay the wizards. Shiro, as you strain against the chains and try to scream, you cannot find your voice. You watch in horror as the wolf walks forward, draws a knife that bleeds an immense amount of power. He walks to the woman and calmly slits her wrist. He collects the blood in a bowl and sprinkles it on the scabbard. There is a large flash of light, and the wolf turns and makes eye contact with you, its eyes glowing red. As you fall to the ground and black out again, all you can say is you softly to yourself. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, we are right in the middle of combat, guys. Um, and I believe it's Cash's turn. Uh, Black Cliff just got knocked the fuck out. Like, yeah. totally just bam. Great. Uh, so you could say he's taking breath. a cat nap. See, I hey, wasn't throwing hey, a cat hey, pun. Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't throwing that cat pun out there, okay? I've been trying to be reframing from that, but if you want to open that door, we can we can you, play that game. You can't see me, but I'm face palming so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not get into a catastrophe here. Oh god, yeah. just stop! <laughs> no. All right, come on, it'd be perfect in right this now. situation. I need you to take your turn right now, please. <laughs> All right. Um, and I also ordered a new chair, and it's on the way, so hopefully so this squeaking shit will hopefully stop. So... Woo! For my turn, if I go to pull something out of my bag, can I pull two things out since I'm reaching in there? Um, I'm, I'm going to say... They're both because... small. How small is small? Like a bag and a bottle small. Mm, I'll let you make a dex check. Okay. Let's see if you can pick them up both with one hand. Because using an item that you retrieve from a bag is an action. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll say you can pull them both out, but you can't use them both. You can only use one of them. That's fine. If you fine. decide to do that. Because um, this is your action part of your action removing them from the bag now I am going to go ahead and use my bag and I'm going to use my bag of tricks that's what I thought okay now I gotta pull it up you had the rust colored bag right tan why do you keep tan. wanting to give me the rust? Bag? I don't know why. I, I just in my brain that's the one you had it was rust. So you rolled the eight cider. Okay. Oh my. Oh All right. My. Where are you chucking it at? I'm going to chuck it in the square that's sort of in between Cliff and Shiro. So right here. Yeah. Oh, that is not that. That is. I know the blackberry is like a six. So. Ooh, that's a tiger. That is a tiger. Yeah. Now, since this is the first turn, I can't command it to do anything until next turn, right? Don't believe so. Let's double check that. You can use an action to pull the fuzzy object from the bag, throw it 20 feet. When it lands, it transforms into a creature by rolling an 8. It vanishes next dawn or it's reduced to 0. It is friendly to you and your companions. It acts on your turn. You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what action it takes on its next turn. Next turn, okay. Or to give it general orders, such as attack your enemies. In the absence of such orders, the creature acts in a fashion appropriate to its nature. Okay. So it t costs your bonus action to give it direction, or else it just it is friendly toward you and your allies. So, actually, hmm. Now it can't take an action, but if I wanted it to move this turn, could it? 
Um, you have to direct it, and it'll respond on its next turn, okay. what you do with it. So technically it will act on your turn, but before you do. Okay. So is how we're gonna that's how we're gonna play it. Since you since your direction directs its next action. Okay. When your turn comes around, it will move first and then you. Alright, I'm gonna move here. And then I'll have another question on my next turn. But that's my turn. Okay. I'm just trying to pull up the tiger. The tiger is surprisingly bulky. I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't throw the tiger ball like right behind the orcs. No, because as far as we know, there's four orcs that we can see. If I toss it behind, we might. Oh, yeah. Like, if he'd have moved for, for, from where he was, he would have been tough throwing it over here. He could have moved first. but. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. He could have thrown it like right behind where the blue orc is, you know, like in between the blue and the orange orc. So what are the odds that we can just keep this tiger in replace of Cliff? <laughs> wow. <thanks. laughs> Actually, it, uh, I mean, you're, you're a cat person and you're unconscious. It's probably going to protect you pretty harsh, pretty hardly. It's going to protect the shit out of you. Because I'm a cat? Yeah. Oh, is it going to be like... I'm ready. I'm ready. I see my companion. Anything tries to attack it, I'm going to bash his face in. Uh, yeah, basically. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Cat bro got my back. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Amelia, kill it with ice. Ice. <laughs> Doesn't work the same. Freeze them all with, like, a blizzard spell or something. Yeah, because we have that already. So what happens? Hey, I don't know what you guys have. I don't know what Amelia has. Maybe she has blizzard. If I wanted to drop spell. something, is that kind of a free action? Uh, more or less. All right. What do you want to do? Oh, no. This is next turn, Ponder. I mean, yeah, dropping something on the ground, assuming you're holding it. Okay. Because if you're, like, taking it out of the bag and then dropping it, that's kind of like... Yeah, oh, that's, I would say that's your action. What is Amelia going to do? Amelia is going to... Because I had to double-check her spell list here. Um... Amelia is going to come up here uh, and she is going to see the threat and she is going to cast Hold Person on the red one. That so the red cool. one has to make a wisdom save and their wisdom is neutral. It fails definitely. Okay, so uh, the red one is now under the spell of old person. So it is paralyzed. Oh. Yep. It is considered paralyzed for the duration. It's a concentration up to a minute. So she says, I got one! <laughs> and it gets to save at the end of each of its turn. And now they so get to her. go back. And the blue one. So <sighs> all he saw was this tiger just fucking appear out of nowhere. So he's gonna step forward over the dead body and swing at this tiger. No. Um, he gets a multi. -t wow. I'm going to name this Tiger hit. Max. Those both hit. Well, let's see if Max survives. Jesus. Like, you're lucky that that 19 wasn't a 20, though. Tigger, right, Max. And hopefully he, he survived. So he's going to take 2 die 12 plus 8. He's got that. You know, I'm kind of wondering something. 31. Ooh. Wow. Um... He is not dead. I roll one under max. That's awesome. I'm never going to yeah. do that against one of you fucking guys. I mean, I'm Doesn't okay matter. with that. I, I don't care if it's against non-PCs, so <laughs> it's okay. We can just let that go. 
Uh, so let's say that it lops a limb off. It lops one of its uh, hind legs off. What? With its swing. Kind of like cuts aside and then lops its leg off. The, the, t the tiger doesn't have much more hit points than that, so you lop the leg off. And 31 damage Her is kind hard. of a lot. It's yeah. kind of a lot. Like, I'm pretty sure that kills Gan... Ganzap? Like, one-shots? Mertz, how many hit points do you have? What's your total hit points? Mertz, cat. Huh? Hello? Okay, I just guess I'll look. He is 29, so yeah, that would talk, totally knock him down. That would knock him to zero. Okay, and this is the red one, so he's doing to roll wisdom. Um, now? To try to break out. Yeah, uh, I heard it's, you. It's your turn, Mike. Mertz, you're up, buddy. Dan's up. Um, We're having all sorts of audio issues today. Apparently. I know, right? Mike is problem. Yeah, clearly. You can always type in what you want to do if we're if you want to fix yeah. it afterwards. As you're trying to work on it, just type it in. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay, so he's moving up. And he's... Now we're gonna play a game. We're gonna figure out what he's gonna do. Okay. Now he's attacking with his rapier. He's fucking it in the pooper. I don't even think that. That does. ad? <laughs> uh, that's a mess. That's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Sad face. The answer Sad is face. what is miss? <clears throat> and how much did you bet? Um, the life of an orc. <laughs> Preferably, the, Preferably orange the orange one. My screen froze. I had to. Read I had to. Sorry. Can you uh, okay, so a what'd you roll? An Eleven. Yes. Eleven misses. We can hear you, That's Ganzap. It. Wait. Okay, so after Ganzap is top of the order. I have to re add my dice thing because I had to reload the page like an idiot. Okay, so which one is this? This is this guy. Okay. Um. What does he want to do? He'll probably just throw another javelin at Shiro. Let's do that. Because he doesn't. There, there's a there's a dead body and other orcs in the way. So Shiro, that is a miss. I feel. Wait. Like um. I. What's the? Oh, you doing that projectile thing? The. Is this thirteen? 13, he missed. Yes. Like, horribly. <laughs> you can snatch stuff out of the air or something. Do you get that at 5th yeah. level? Yep, I already yeah. Yeah. Nice are, That's what he's looking up. I knew what he was going for. I know they can do something, but I mean, it's a miss, so I don't know if that still counts. I don't know. Um... I don't know how it works. I'm going to sneeze again. Nah, what? It just says when I'm hit, so if okay. he misses, no. Yeah, it's fine. Aww. Yes. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Accidentally right. redirect it to you. <laughs> Alright, two great X attacks against you now, Shiro. Jesus. Uh, 19 and 18, which I don't <laughs> think either are good nope. enough. Not even close. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's our monk tank for you, okay? All right, you're up, ninja boy. <clears throat> uh, I'll go against uh, this guy since he's already in front of me. Uh, okay. I'll use my blades for the first attack. Slash. Oh, 
16? Ness. Ness? Oh, really? Yep. They're, oh, they're carrying shields, right? They have plate armor on. Plate armor? Mm. Yay, more yeah, plate armor for me to sell. So, like, on the back, on the backswing from his second slash, he's able to basically knock your sword aside at the same time. That's why he missed the second time he was trying to smack your sword away. There we go. 27 will absolutely eat into his armor. My second hit, and then... Um, that one cut him pretty good. Mm, one... No, I'm just gonna use a bonus strike here. Oh, just one unarmed strike. 21. Punch him square in the nose. Alright. He's Set. bleeding profusely. You snapped like like your fist like hit his face and one of his like tusk teeth coming out of the bottom like like broke off as you're punching him in the face. Ooh. He snarls and like green orc blood's oozing out of his mouth. Ugh. Pretty gross. That's yeah, but, uh, not as gross as this deadly wound on Cliff that he has to roll for. Yes. Death yeah. save, buddy. I haven't made a death saving throw last week, right? I believe you did. I believe you rolled a fail last week. Oh, okay. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Two fails, sir. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, you need to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my turn. Yes, it is. Cash it in. All right. Did you just drop fireball? <laughs> Wandering. <laughs> just I... drop a fireball. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> so I'm going to tell my tiger to turn around and grab the bottle out of my hand, and for and it to charge forward charge two forward spaces, spaces and bite down on the bottle. Okay, so okay, that's so what it will do on its next turn. So this turn, it attacks this guy who attacked it first. That's not what you were referring to. I'm confused no. on how you're saying this thing works. Okay, so <laughs> they, no, how, the, how, the, how the bag how the of tricks reads. Here, I'll tell you what it reads. Um, blah, 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 what did it say? You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what action it takes on its next turn. So I could have commanded what it does last turn. With your bonus action, yes. Oh. So you could have told it to do that last turn. Would you have done that? Yeah, because I was confused. Okay. Then that's fine. Okay. So you commanded it last turn to take this bottle and bite into bite. it right here. Yes. Okay. okay. So it turns, takes its bottle, it runs over here. This guy takes an attack of opportunity against it. And for your sake, let's hope it misses. Which it Which does not. Well, if it falls down, this bottle's breaking anyway, so... It... Ten points, it's very dead. Uh, okay, so... It's gonna die. It's basically gonna poof out of existence and turn back into that fuzzball. Um, so it's certainly not gonna make it over there. It's gonna be either on this square or this square. Uh, oh, and it God. Depends. So... I it... need uh, one you to make me a die percentile roll. Well, oh God. in the theory of things, it would have made it to Cliff's turn if it was getting an attack of opportunity. It wouldn't have stayed in its square. Square. Right, like right, as like, it was leaving its square, it got cut down. So, But it would still, if it died, it, it would, what it, it was carrying still would have made it into Cliff's square okay, because of inertia. In yeah. Don't worry, oh, Cliff. No, you'll be fine. Then it's landing in Cliff Square. Oh my, oh my god. god! So let's find out if the bottle ex shatters when it lands. So I need still a percentile die from you. I mean, it's <laughs> falling on my body, which is exactly. Sad. So, so it's, it's well, that is that on is the low spectrum. I mean, <laughs> so it, it's gonna shatter. My <laughs> brain, I was like, ah, oh, like eighty percent chance it hits on him rolls under 20. Oh, I guess it's hitting the ground and shattering then. Alright, it's okay though, because it's, it's a bottle of oil. Oh, okay, it's just, so it's oil. just oil. Oh, okay. oh my, oh my okay, god. Okay, so how far does the oil spread? <clears throat> that I'm not sure. I assumed it was going to spread into all the squares around it. Okay. okay. I, um, I will, uh, that, that makes sense. So let's do a box oh, here. 
Let's and make it brown. And make it small. Okay, so there's oil on the ground in that area. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, so that was the tiger's action on your turn. So yes. what do you do now? So now there, I should, drop a fire. there should be <laughs> oil covering the ground there, and I'm going to set it on fire. Oh. I'm going to protect <laughs> Shiro and Cliff. And um, is it up to your wizard your level or your modifier? It's my I think it's your either or. I can or protect I... both. But I think it's well, my ha oh, it's you're... half my wizard level plus one, plus. or just half my wizard level. So three. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then decisions, decisions. I might as well. I'm gonna cast a fireball. Um, oh god! I am going. To... Mm, roasted kitty. <laughs> god damn it! I'm going to put mic? it right behind the orange guy. I think. No, I have to put it on the orange guy. And that should hit all four of them, and none of us. Cliff! Roasting over an open fire. Oh, God. So, it looks like the oil flask only covers a five-foot space. So, only my square. Oh, oh that's not going to go as planned, then. <laughs> On a hit, the target is covered in oil uh, and takes fire damage before the oil dries. Uh, you can also pour the flask of oil on the ground and cover a five foot square area provided the surface is level. Oh. So. I it's tried not to be clever. so clever, and you're just gonna, like, shit all over my parade. Tell I mean, it was super like clever. I just. Yeah. It's just not how the, the oil flask works. Well, I think since up. I'm not pouring it and it's shattered, oil should just splatter all over this radius. Uh, I mean, I don't know that it's that much oil, but it was one of them clay bottles that, that was special, so we'll, we'll say for the sake of argument, we'll, we'll let it go. Yay! It was a special oil flask. Alright, if I cast this on the orange orc, I won't hit Gantap, right? Well, what is the range of the fireball? Oh my god, we get over this every time. Was it 20 foot radius? Oops, that's not what I wanted. I am 15 foot away. There's also a boulder here. Yeah. That's, that's... And this is a solid rock wall below it. Okay. But you also might not get this guy, so... It's it's a sphere, but I, I think it's 20 feet radius. It's a 20 foot radius, I think. It is a 20 foot radius. Okay, so it'll get up here. 5, 10, 15, 20. I actually... Um, I think it is going to clip Ganzap, but you have three protection things, so you can just protect him, too. So I'm not too worried about it. Maybe he wants to hit Ganzap on purpose. Can you... oh, I can do yeah, Ga Ganzap isn't in the full range, so I would give him like advantage on the save, but you can just protect him. I'm not worried about it, so... So drop a fireball, and they all got to make dex saves. Their dexterity is... it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so this is for green guy. And what's DC 17? Yeah. Green guy fails. Blue guy critically succeeds. Orange guy fails. And I think the red guy automatically fails. Because he's paralyzed. paralyzed. Yeah. But I think he's right, I don't know if the attack on him. I mean, I mean, you can't crit on a saving throw attack, but. I just think this, uh, whatever the score is, that's all that matters in that case. Incapacitated, fail strength, and deck saving throws automatically. Attack rolls against that have advantage. An attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if it's within five feet of the creature. 
So he just takes the full 37. 37. And blue's the only one that failed, right? You mean succeeded? Or yeah, that's that's what I meant. I would, whichever one he, the crit succeeded. And he critically succeeded, so he avoids all the damage. It makes sense from where he's at. Uh, the red guy burns pretty damn good, as does the orange guy. And the green guy kind of uh, melts inside of his Not armor. His armor. Kind of bakes like bake. out of it. And it's kind of just liquid orc, like oozing out of this burned shard plate armor. Oh, that sounds absolutely disgusting. Yes. <laughs> it should, yeah. because it is. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the oil catches, right? So the oil catches, which does an extra five damage. Uh, uh, so this one actually also burns to a crisp. And blue will take five points from the flask damage. We'll give you that much. Because he was, he but saw, he saw the oil, oil, and he was like, "Oh shit, fire!" So he was like, ready for the fire, but not ready not for ready the oil to catch. Hot feet, hot feet. And this guy is incredibly charred and damaged and stuff too. You centered that fireball on him. He's he's, he's lucky to be alive. And then Cash is gonna act like he's ready to command the tiger, and he's going, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> See, you couldn't have protected the tiger anyway. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It was a suicide thing for the tiger. <laughs> Goodbye, Max. We hardly knew you. I'll summon you again if I need you. <laughs> All right, so Amelia's going to come up next to you, <clears throat> and she is just going to cast, um, uh, let's cast a frostbite. Oh good. oh good, that was that was, that was a terrible, terrible roll. Cost frostbite on the orange guy, orange guy. needs to make a plus four con save. Oh Jesus! Which he <laughs> radically succeeds. So she um, she basically shoots like a like a spray of cold out of her hand, and he just shrugs, shrugs it off. It off. It like makes him feel better because he was just cast fire on him, so he's like, "Ooh, that feels good." <laughs> it worked, and she's like, "Fuck, God. fuck, fuck thing, thing." Fucking use cold, cold after a fire blast. Fire blast. What's wrong, what wrong with me? I'll just pat her on the shoulder. It happens well, we to the best of us. Yeah. All right. Well, this blue guy's are next. Um. He's got a target-rich environment here. Um. All right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go around the horn that way. There's eight of us. What? So, Mr. Oh. Z. Oh, there's only four of us. What? What? Um, on his attack, do the cutting words thing where I use an roll a d8 and you're attracted from it. You're, you're breaking up, Mike. You're, you're going to have to start over. Something about cutting words. Cutting word, minus d8 to attack roll. Where are these cutting words coming from? It's, not uh, it's my bardic inspiration of the School of Cunning. And when can you use that? It's a free action whenever you can attack. Whenever it makes an attack? It, yeah. It's, it's a reaction okay. thing. Okay. So it, you don't even know what it's attacking yet, but okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, it's attacking something. Just on its next attack roll? Well, it, it, it's supposed to be a reaction uh, action. I can only do it once. Can you can you do it when it's attacking you or when it's attacking anything? I would say if it's a reaction, it's whenever it's attacking in general, but let me look it up. It might have to be the bard. I'll look it up too since he's having mic problems and also microphone problems okay. <laughs> uh get it I, I got it because <laughs> i'm a jerk cutting words um you when a creature now? you can see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll ability check or damage roll you can use your reaction to expend a bar bardic inspiration rolling a die subtract the number from the creature's roll okay so it does not have to be him. No. 
Okay, but so essentially he doesn't want to get an opportunity attack against him either, so it's either going to be Ganzap or Amelia. Um, so Ganzap, do you want evens or odds? Is evens. He, is Amelia? Oh. He, evens it is. Shifting. So he's just going to turn around and attack you. So his first roll is at a minus D8, basically. Uh, so he's at essentially... Okay, so he is at a six. Okay. So he's at a four plus four now. Does an 18 hit you? Uh, I do believe so. All right, so that's one hit, and then the second attack is a critical fail. Awesome. Well, the first one strikes you, so that's that. That's good. Uh, six points of damage. Crap. You wasted all the good attacks on my tiger. I did. I really did. So when he when he swung at you the first time, and you you, you said your cutting words to him that like were tried to get him in his head, he was like what the fuck is this guy talking about? And so he did get off balance a little bit when he swung his axe on you, so he just kind of clipped you instead of slicing into you. Uh, and it threw him off to the point where when his second his second swipe was just not even close, and he just kind of, like, way over your head, like, not even close kind of deal. Like, he just totally... He wasn't used to fighting gnomes either, because you're sure he's, like, seven plus tall. So he just baseball swung right over top of your head. Uh, now it's your actual turn. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move here. Five foot step. Okay. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Mr. Uh, Cliff. <laughs> Wait, is this area still on fire or is it already? Uh, it, for a round. But it's still oh. on fire. And he'll but... heal 13. Oh, nice. He maxed out. That's an appropriate amount of hit points for him. Ha ha ha. Um, that's my turn. Okay. I guess. Um, so this guy doesn't want to step into the. Oh, you stepped into the burning fire, by the way. Did you know that? I sort of had to. This whole area is kind of on fire, so you take five points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, he just wants to th keep throwing javelins, um, but he doesn't like the guy who just cast fireball at him, so he's going to throw it at that guy. Bring it. Every time you say that, I roll like garbage. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> 16? Oh, right on the nose. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, uh, actually. So... Yeah, mm, man, I never hit you. Oh, you're going to cast a shield or something, aren't you? It's still so early in this dungeon. Ah, uh, javelins aren't that bad. Go ahead. What a dick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. That's fine. Kind of clips you in the shoulder. Yeah, I, I try to use my robes to deflect it and it catches me on the thigh and I'm like, damn it, that didn't work. <laughs> Amelia's like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, 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 it's a flesh wound. Awesome. Okay. Monk boy! Alright. Uh, this one's looking pretty bad, right? Oh yeah. He's I can kill good. that one if you can kill the blue one. Okay. Um... I will move over here. Good call. <laughs> Metagamer. <laughs> and... Actually, I probably would have screamed at I can kill the other one if you can kill this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant him, him moving into a flanking. 
I think he's but moving out of the fire, actually. It, there's fire there, yeah. <laughs> Common sense, man. All right, uh, cut this guy. Twenty. That'll hit. Still up. Uh, eight points. Yes, he's still up. Still up. Okay. Second attack. Uh, he'd be a... ten. Uh, he's hurting pretty good. You're you're snapping bones and stuff. All right. And One more. I Bonus. mean, you're you're. In, you're Denting armor. Oh no, that's your that's your that's your one. Yeah, you're, using, you're yeah, I'm using my. All right. Uh, bonus attack. Mend out on damage, Hits. and you also missed. Ah, oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Seventeen does not hit. All right. Well, the good. Let's make a flurry of blows. Uh, I'm gonna use one of my. I mean, we do still have Amelia coming, coming after you. Coming after you. So. Hmm. And Cliff's back up, and... Nah. Down. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Not that one. Twelve misses anyway. <laughs> yeah. Not that one, but... Even with advantage, yeah. you still missed. No, I was just doing another one. But yeah, that's... Yeah, it's the same stat. No, that's oh, not that's the same not stat. The same stat. <laughs> because Shocking Grasp uses my in intelligence, so... Sorry. There we go. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's better. Is he down? He's uh, he's, he's on his last limb, but he is not down. Alright. That is my turn. Uh, it's it's Black's turn now. He's not on Discord. He's not on Discord, but he hasn't left roll twenty either, so I'm confused. No. Is he here? He's not even logged into Discord. Because usually if you oh, get knocked out, your character or your account usually gets logged out of roll 20 by now. Alright, well, I texted him, so we'll see what happens. Um, I would say for his character, he probably would just run out of the fire. Yeah, he would, uh, would certainly not stay in there. Uh, let's see. So he would probably go behind Gambap yes. and try and stab at the blue one. He'd probably come over here and use his sneaky claws. Nineteen hits for twenty something, 20 -something damage. He slashes and rips that off. Easily. Easily. Well, Black said his power went out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so he... His power went out. Okay, well, we'll figure figure it out. Though. Um, so he cuts that guy's head clean off, and he is pissed. He's just clearly angry, visibly angry. Cash it in! I'm gonna cast a fireball right in this bastard's face. A fireball? fireball. <laughs> 21 wit. Oh, wow. Just enough to knock him out. 2d10, and I roll a 5. Well, that's all you that's need. <laughs> <laughs> so that firebolt kind of strikes him right where uh, Amelia, as ice went over, and he went, oh, this feels nice. And then fire, fire hit him, two hit him. bolts of fire hit him in the face, and he was like, oh, no, it's terrible now. And his face kind of melts while he's talking, and he falls back. Must have seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh no, that was uh, Mr. Green over here <laughs> that melted his, his flesh melted off. All right, so so we didn't die. Yeah, correct. Good job, yeah. everybody. Cliff's <laughs> like, I'm not doing so well, guys. Cast cure light wounds on myself. 
Wait, wait, we have typing. Oh. Ah, oh, wait, that's probably. So yeah, I go up by eight. Yeah, I figured as much. Do you want me to roll your eight sider? Mike? I rolled it. I know. I'm asking, do you want me to roll... Are you, you happy to with... re -roll it? Do you want me to re-roll it and take my roll instead? Yes, please. Alright, so you get 13 back. 12, I'm sorry, you get 12 back. Um, does Cliff have any healing potions on his sheet? Let's see. He should have... Oh, he's got a lot still of still having mic problems? A little bit. Um, let's see here. I am going to go investigate which, um, plate armor is in the least horrible condition. <coughs> Investigation. That's this thing. Um, um you would say it's... that these two these up two... here definitely not salvageable. The one the blue guy was wearing uh, is he's, salvageable. He's mad. Hey, you missed, you missed healing, getting yourself healed, and then decapitating the orc. Yeah, you killed Good job. Wait, I decapitated the orc? Yep. Yeah. Yanzap yeah. 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 stepped, stepped up and, and brought you back to life, and then you got angry eyes and decapitated an orc. Oh. Well, fuck this guy. I didn't kill you. <laughs> fuck this fuck motherfucker. This motherfucker. So I guess I'm gonna do another cure light wounds on him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the armor, this one's armor over here, the blue guy, his is probably, probably salvageable. Okay. Uh, as is his axe and his javelins. This guy's axe and his javelins. Well, basically everything that these two guys were wearing up here is not really salvageable. It's it's too busted and 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 whatnot. All right. So will... Cliff, you're gonna heal for ten. Unless you want me to reroll the eight cider. No, I, it's the higher end of the half, so I'm taking that. Is it a great axe? The, they are great axes, yes. Okay. I'm just going to take... There's two great axes, one set of plate mail that's worth taking, uh, and probably six large javelins. I'm not worried about the, the javelins. I'm going to grab the plate mail and the great axe and pat them <laughs> down for anything down, else right. that he might have. Okay, um... This, I'm going to bring up the weight thing for you guys, because you guys are going to be in this dungeon for a while, and very possibly, very possibly. Uh, there's lots of loot and stuff in here. Um, uh, I, 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 are you guys going to figure out, like, a system for this loot? Are you going to leave it in a spot? Are you going to, like, what are you going to do? Because you're not going to be able to carry probably more than one set of plate mail with everything else you got. You. And well, then everybody else is um, uh, is we're still at the entrance, right? Yes. Okay. And the dragon's still outside, theoretically. He is outside somewhere, yes. Wagons. Yes. Well, the wagon. Well, I'm going to go yes. back outside real quick. And drop off your bass bag in there? I'm going to empty out the bag in there. Okay. So let's say, for sake of argument, you were intelligent enough to do that beforehand. Yay! Because you would have probably thought of that going in and be like, oh, we're, we're going to be killing a bunch of shit. Some Most of this is useless. I'll just dump all the useless shit in there. So you yeah, except for everything. like all the the weapons and that. That was in it. So you That's going to stay. Okay. Cool. So, like, That's good. Now I have like, what? How many pounds? A oh, decent amount. If we if we get close to that five hundred, we'll we'll bring it up. But I mean, a set of plate mail is pretty pretty heavy, but you can still it carry it. It is sixty five pounds. Stuff. Okay, yeah. So you're not really touching anywhere near that. Um, yeah, you might be at two hundred, and we'll say you can still carry a whole bunch of stuff. So Ganzap uh, pulls out this bag and says, "Here, stick the plate mail in here." here. I'll just nod I'll to just him nod and to thank him, him, and, him. and uh, I'll go ahead and put the plate mail in there. Yeah, and you guys see basically the plate mail starts to go in the bag and it just boop, pops out of existence and again that puts the bag away. Huh, that's pretty nifty. Why, of course. 
All right, so I if left you, it on my character sheet, but I put I quoted that it was in your bag. That works. That works. Um, um, also, also, with your twenty-seven investigation, uh, these are not traditional, traditional orcs. orcs. They are called. Uh, are they called Orokim? Orogs. Yes. They, these <laughs> these are not orcs personally, but you've heard, but you've of, heard them. of them. Um, Orogs are typically considered to be blessed with a surprisingly keen intellect that ordinary orcs believe is a gift from the orc goddess. Uh, orcs are spent in Orog strength and cunning, and a lone Orog may be the commander of an entire orc war band. Huh. So the fact so the that there are four of them as frontline front scouts is a little bit worrying. Other than that, they had no coin or anything on them. Alright, I'm gonna rub my leg rub my right leg down with my, down with my healing set. Healing set out. And I'm gonna ask for a reroll. There we go. Six points. Point. Um, so okay. me, me patting down the orc that I was uh, stripping didn't apprise anything. anything. No, you didn't notice anything else other than the weapons and the armor that he had. That's fine. So That's thinking, I'm going to have the weight limit on a different sheet. You did what? I have the weight limit like my current weight on a, a notepad thing. So that way you don't have to worry about it as much. Works for me. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna be like, alright. Well that was a fun entrance. Uh, let's put in your bio. Let's keep going. Alright. Now where did you stick it, Mike? Don't what? answer that question for real. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, what where what note are you talking about? I have Notepad open on my computer. Oh 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 oh, got it. Okay. It doesn't fit on the other sheet as well. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I can do this, and I can create a handout in the thing, and just name it. Well, that's what I'm using to keep all my session notes. Back I mean, old. if you create a handout that we can all edit. Richie Cat edited by. Just to all players. Alright, so... All right, and I will add in there the weapons and gear you have. Um, you guys should all be able to edit that, that handout now. Okay. Once you get stuff. Okay, so... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Cliff. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, what's... What was the rule for my disguised self hat? Like, how many times can I use this per day? I mean, it's essentially your that that's just like your at will thing. The only the the uh, the mirror the mirror image thing is uh, is is I only a like, amount of times per day. But part of your you wanted to be like perpetually, perpetually. disguised. Yeah. So your times per day it, it's just how long it lasts. Is I, know, I can't remember how long it is, like eight hours or something, okay. so that you don't have to like really worry about redoing it only so often. But because I want to just like go back, back and just turn myself back into a human and feel like, because I just feel the snobby human, I'd just be like very uncomfortable with being a cat folk in front of everybody. Wow, I'm very self conscious about my. Care about my identity as a cat folk, okay? Yikes! So Amelia's gonna come up to you. So are you? Uh, are you are you a like I, I, I don't know. know. Um, I just tell her don't, things happened, and let's just say that I rather keep this what happened to me a secret. All right. All right. I understand. I, I just like would like to know who I'm, you know, have looking out for. Looking my out for my just know that while I'm getting paid, 
you're gonna be safe. All right, that's all you need to care about. As long as I get paid, you're I'm I'm on your side. Okay. Well, I I won't tell you that makes me feel all that much better, but I guess thank you. <laughs> well, if, would it make you feel better if I lied to you and say you seem like a really great girl? Oh, okay. Wow. So. Oh, what a bitch. <laughs> what's uh, what's over this way, guys? <laughs> So are oh, you no. going to share your Orog information with the group, sir? Um, um, yeah, I'll, I will let them know, and I'll look over to Cliff and be like, so the reason your disguise didn't work is these are not normal orcs. How so? Uh, these are what they call Orogs. What the hell's an Orog? An Orog... Uh, is an orc that is yeah, it's kind of smarter than normal orcs that supposedly back in the day they got blessed or something and they got like, these extra feats and in intelligence that normal orcs don't wait how how smart are we talking I mean like you say an orc that's able to spell its name that's pretty smart for an orc so are you talking that smart or like I'm Being talking that they're able to probably understand differences like me and you can understand. No, I just you, I I, I kind of got the idea. I was just kind of like making a joke out of it, just like it is smarter than your right average on. person. Th oh, okay. Thank you. I was like, what? An orc, really? Damn, those dumb fucks. I, just, I, I, they're just totally stupid. I trick them all the time to give me some stuff. All well, right, good they go. might be smarter than you. Well, these are orogs, not orcs. So I think we need to be a little more cautious, trying to disguise ourselves again. <coughs> wow. Okay. So let's just try to be sneaky about this and just take our time. Going down this pathway and see and make sure that there's nothing that's gonna befall us. So monk boy should lead the charge, and <laughs> I'll course. be and I'll be sneaking right behind him. Right. So this is a broad, well, not super broad, but it's a shallow, uh, shallow fissure with stairs uh, that that lead basically to the south. You guys have now kind of turned back toward the way you came. Uh, and these stairs are, you know, lead lead into this thin fissure heading up this way. Okay, so. And uh, I didn't mark it on the map, but you guys can see light coming from up the up the top here. Mm -hmm. So this probably goes ten feet up, and then another ten feet up the other set of stairs, and then you can kind of see some firelight from up here. I'm sorry, from where can you ping it? Oh, I am. Okay. You might not be able to see it, but I am. Oh, I see it. I see it now. Okay. Um, in anticipation of seeing firelight, I'm going to uh, toss out another um, marble, I guess, for my bag of tricks. Okay. How many times can you use that? I don't know if I read that. I do it. Is it like one animal per like? Eight hours, or like once three fuzzy objects have been pulled from the bag and cannot be used until the next dawn. Oh, okay. So you can use it three times per day. So literal, gonna... literal day-night cycle. So this will be my second time. Okay. Um, let's see. Please tell me there's a free fucking picture of one of these when I have to buy more shit. More tokens <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be pissed if I have to buy more tokens. I mean, you can just use a random token and we just like just use our imagination. Imagination. Or you could try to draw it. Yeah, it ain't happening. Stick it. <laughs> it's just gonna look like a dog. <laughs> well, sure sure as hell isn't a tiger or a bear then. Oh my. No, the bear I think is five. I thought it was six. I don't know. Bear, bear, bear is, is five. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
What is it? Shitty, shitty is token. A, is that a hyena? It's a hyena. Okay. Oh, okay. But that's a shitty token size. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's I awesome. wish that was the right size. Is it's it a hyena. Market? Okay. It's a hyena. Let's see. Um, so we're trying to stealth up, and you got this gig laughing hyena. Action. It is not you played by Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the bumbling, rumbling, bumbling one. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Yeah, it's technically a giant, a giant. hyena. So, so I don't, I don't think, think it's think actually it's... giant sized though. It's big for a hyena. Oh, it is actually a large creature. Well, I'll be. Yeah, because when I summoned bad. it, when we tried to open the chest, it literally took up the entire room I was standing in. Oh yeah, that's right. What's the hyena's name? The hyena's name is Ed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so original. And then he's gonna soon to be dead. Probably. Dead Ed. Okay, so that's Ed. Anyway, so you guys are rolling stealth? Uh, or you well, are at least. I rolled stealth. I'm like, uh, I need to play it safe this time. <laughs> I Yeah, I'm going, going to ahead. follow them in. Alright, and I want to check for traps as we go up ahead. Okay. That's fine. So perception? Yes, perception. Well, actually, it's it's investigate. No, Is perception. It okay. All right, there we go. So basically, you could oh, we'll go to the top of the stairs through there. Then you don't notice anything through there. Then another roll to the top of the other set of stairs for traps. You can keep your stealth roll. Okay, so you don't notice anything basically through the both sets of stairs. And the uh, fire is here, right? Like all the way down here. The buff. You can see step. the fire now. Okay. So basically, this is a oh, uh, oh a okay, a brazier basically with oh. dim firelight. Uh, I want to hide behind this boulder right over here. Okay. You're welcome to do so. And so I'm, I'm going to follow them stealthily as well. Okay. As they're coming up, as soon as I see this, as soon as I see this over here, I'm going to, like, put my hand up to just, like, I want to try and give a gesture to make it seem like to be, like, quiet. And as they try to approach. Huh? You uh, quiet? You're just trying to, to to do that? Yeah, I'm trying to make a hand gesture for them to be quiet as they come up, okay. to not try to grab attention. So basically, as you guys start coming up the stairs, Cliff's like peeking behind the 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 boulder and turning back and putting his finger up to his mouth and then peeking around the boulder and turning back, telling you to be shush. Gads up, you can make it up here, as well. Uh, are you guys gonna follow? You're gonna follow. Cash and Amelia. Uh, I'm um, keeping my distance because nobody's really communicating a whole lot. So fair enough. I'm staying behind my protected pet. Does she have message? That would be awesome if I gave her message. She does have message. Um, if you want to give me control of her, and I can just move her around when I move. That'll work. For for now, that's that works for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, so she's gonna cast message. Uh, and toward uh, Shiro. So Shiro, in your head, you hear Amelia's voice, and it says, "What's the plan?" Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. This, well, this feels weird. Can she? Can she? Like, if I think, if I think, yeah, you should I just have to think it. Get in my head. It. She can, and she'll okay. say, "You can just whisper back. I'll hear you." All right. Well, it's an just... awesome spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, just follow us. I like, stay stay close. Don't. They can see you're far, far, far from us. So. Yeah, you, we're not even up the first set of steps. 